Hey guys more medic one how are y'all this morning what i want to do this morning is i want to show you guys without a doubt 100 percent the correct way to service and foam oil filled or foam bath air filter i've seen these come in my shop with these air filters not serviced correctly and i've over the years, I've seen these little two-stroke engines just absolutely dusted because they're not serviced correctly. And I'm going to explain to you why I do what I do. And it's pretty much, uh, you know, in the owner's manual of any two-stroke engine with this style air filter on the procedures that I'm fixing to show you. Let's go ahead and pop the air filter cover off and take a look at what we got here. As you can tell we are fairly dirty. And is in definite need of cleaning. But as you can tell Over time, the oil that is this is saturated with, it's going to deplete. It's going to, you know, uh, get sucked into the motor over time. So that's why you've got to get these cleaned and you've got to get these re-oiled. The air filter cover, they love to warp. You see this air filter uh, ridge where it seals again. See that it's got a whoop in it right here. That will eventually cause the air filter. See how it wants to follow that little whoop. That whoop in that air filter cover won't allow the, uh, the edge of this filter to seal up tight and dirt will just follow right through there and get right into the carburetor. As you can see, we have some dirt tracking right here and right here. But luckily, our air filter box is pretty clean. We've got a little bit of debris down here, but that's normal. We'll blow all this out and uh, as you can tell, the air filter base loves to get a little bit warped as well. I'm not too concerned about this portion. This does not seal the air filter here. It seals right underneath of here. And it seems to be warped as well. So just keep in mind of the pieces that do get warped and I'm gonna show you how to fix those. Now what I like to do, I like to get me a heat gun and heat up the plastic to where it's a little bit pliable. You can use a torch, but be super careful. And just kind of hold it there until it cools. That's pretty 
pretty good. A lot of times this is what you have to do because these covers are no longer available. Now I do not recommend washing your air filters out and like say, you know, a parts washer that has solvent. Now, if this was a water-based uh, parts washer, then by all means, wash it out. But what we need to do, we need to use just good old soap and degreaser, uh, dish washing liquid, Dawn dish washing liquid or purple power. We need something to cut this uh, grease and grime and oil out of the filter and we're going to scrub it and squeeze it clean and then we'll dry it out and re-oil this bad boy so that it will live another day. I'm going to soak my filter down with purple power. Scrub it like you would an old pair of dirty socks. Get her nice and clean. And if you got a good hot sunny day, you can just let this sit out in the sun for about an hour and it'll be bone dry. But you want to get all the water out of it. See, I can squeeze it. Let's see if I can get a little bit more out of there. Yeah, see, it's still wet. So we need to make sure this is dry before we do the next step. Now in a clean container, um, just pour your favorite oil and soak this filter. I'm using a little bit of Lucas because it has a little bit better tack than regular motor oil. So let that soak in. And we're gonna distribute this all over it. Wear gloves if you don't wanna get oil on your hands. Let it all soak in real good. This has got the tack as the uh, like UNI filters, that stuff that comes in a spray bottle. It's almost the same thickness that you use on ATV and motorcycle air filters. Just give it a good squeeze and distribute that oil throughout the whole filter. Don't be shy and don't be skimpy with the oil because once you've got it all over the filter or inside the filter you're just going to give it one last good squeeze to get rid of the excess Now, one thing that you notice now, since your air filter is now full of oil, it's expanded and it's actually bigger now 
than it was. So that's a good thing. Now just basically get it all shoved in there. It'll go. And now your ceiling surface, your ceiling lip is gonna fit much better now. Don't wait until the filter is filthy. I like to do this, you know, once ever so often. I mean, if the filter, even if the filter is not dirty, go ahead and pull it out and clean it and re-oil it. It'll make the filter uh, just act right, act better. It'll have uh, the, the much needed oil it needs to trap the dirt as it's going through. So, I mean, I mean, I love the way that that Lucas works. It, it's real tacky and it doesn't impede airflow. So let's go ahead and slide the air filter cover on and give her a crank. Just give it a bump. Guys, these old Toros just live for flipping ever. Check out the model number tag. It's a 22026, and look at the date on it. 1989, and she is still running like a top. Guys, if you have any questions about the commercial Toros, this has the Suzuki engine on it. It's a very sad situation that they quit making these in about 2000, 1999, maybe a little sooner than that, 97-ish, I think. Quote me if I'm wrong, but this is one of the best engine setups for a push mower, in my opinion. Uh, they put these on some lawn boys, some of the commercial lawn boys, and uh, they just were awesome little engines no oil changes just be sure you keep 50 to 1 in the gas tank and service that air filter and fuel filter and that's it those three items and these little engines will freaking last forever you can find these little mowers at auctions or garage sales i don't care if they run or not i buy them because you can fix them for next to nothing you can still get uh, carburetor kits for them that I know of and the bearings you can get at any uh, supply house bearing supply and seals as well you can go on Amazon and buy seals for these all day long but anyway guys don't let this discourage you from uh, doing your air filter maintenance it takes a little bit of time and you're gonna get a little bit dirty but who cares if it works it works but uh, and this will also cross over to Briggs and Stratton or Cal uh, Kawasaki engines, Kohler engines, any of those filters that are foam and that need a uh, uh, oil bath foam style filter, this is how you do it. Doesn't matter of the manufacturer. Anyway, guys, if this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, please click the bell so you'll get all my notifications. Y'all have a good rest of your Monday. More Medic One.